Hey guys. <clears throat> hey guys. So we're here working on the frame. I have my support dog, Kona, which is actually not my dog, it's Andrew's dog. But anyways, I got this all marked out. I didn't realize that I wasn't videotaping that part. Um, I thought I was. But anyways, I'll just do a quick run through and then I'll put you guys in a time lapse for cutting it. So basically what I had figured, I figured where I needed to cut the frame. I had figured this before somewhat. If I was doing it again, I'd do it different, but we're gonna do it this way to start with. So basically what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come ac across, cut below here and here. There's a bunch of different ways of doing this. Being I'm gonna fish plate it and I'm boxing the frame, I'm not worried about the way that I'm cutting it. Um, but basically what I did was I figured out the distance so this mount isn't gonna move. This mount is gonna be removed, but this distance is correct either way. So basically what I did was, is this mount, this mount, the front of this mount on this part of the frame is in the right spot where this mount is. So this is the same. So we're gonna, that's how much we're cutting out of it. Like we're cutting that distance out of the frame plus this distance. So that being said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these off both sides Cut those both sides, we'll clean it. And I don't know if I'll get it tacked together tonight. It's starting to get a little bit on the later side. Um, so by the time I cut this, I don't know if I'll have time to tack it together, but see if we can get it jigged together at least tonight. Um, and then I can weld it tomorrow. So basically what I did was I went, I, I marked across here. I measured my, I measured four and a half inches. So straight off of this mount. And I got that four and a half inches from doing this same idea for how much material I had left. I would have liked this to be a little bit steeper, but I'm running, I don't have enough material here to make it steeper. So that's, it is what it is. And this truck's never gonna, it's gonna haul something, but it's not gonna haul much weight. Um, so anyways, so that's where that came from. That's where I got that angle from. I honestly don't even know what the angle is. It doesn't matter. Um, so that's where I got it from. So it's four and a half inches, four and a half inches. And then you just do the same thing on this side. And lots of guys will do this different way. I've done it. I worked with a guy that cut and welded frames for a living on big trucks. This is how he did it. Um, they always box the frame usually on the inside, but this is how he always did it. He usually did it on 45. That's not quite a 45, but for what we're doing, it's gonna be more than sufficient. So, um, and now, and then some guys will do it in a Z notch, which is basically just come across. You'll cut across this bottom web and then you come up and then across and then up and across and then like that. For, like I said, for what we're doing, I'm not concerned about it. What I might do is I might actually cut a different piece out of here and change something. But like I said, I'm not too worried about it either way. So anyways, I'm gonna blast you guys in a time lapse. I'm gonna cut this off with the hand grinder with a zip cut on it with my safety glasses on. And uh, we will uh, see you guys when I get that done. So anyways, I'll do that, throw you in a time lapse and we'll get that cut. All right, guys, going to do a little bit of a voiceover on the time lapse here. <coughs> so, see, I'm just cutting off what I was talking about. It. I actually uh, just got that um, Milwaukee hand grinder. It was on sale. Uh, I actually got it from a different place than I got the other tools that I did the review on, but... I figured I'd try out the hand grinder for a while and then I'll let you guys know what I think about the hand grinder. So far, I don't mind it. It seems to work okay. RPM is good, but I haven't used it much, so we'll see if we can't kill it. Um, but just cleaning everything up here. Um, you want to make sure you get your weld surface um, all prepped well, so I'm just making sure I get everything good and clean on the weld surface side of things. So just using a couple different discs. Um, just taking this angle iron here. Uh, just for something for the frame to sit on top of, just to give you a, a general height. You know, I'm going to have to clamp it in a couple different spots, but uh, just to give you a general idea. I don't have a frame table anymore, so um, this is a way easier if you have a frame table and then you just cut some pieces to get everything squared up perfect. Um, but I don't have a frame table anymore, so obviously can't do it that way. And I know most guys are going to be doing it, you know, if you were doing it in your garage, this is how you'd be doing it. Um... Well, what is something I would recommend is if you're not confident in welding, make sure you get somebody that um, is either a licensed welder or somebody that's that knows what they're doing to weld the frame back together because, well, you can't have a bad day if it breaks in half, obviously. Um, so there, just quick, I was uh, just measuring some stuff just to see what... <coughs> sorry. 
make sure we get um you know stuff where we need it was it's really close um even uh oh and then we actually just dropped the frame off but anyways <laughs> uh, fell off the pail or fell off the uh angle iron but just making sure we're getting everything close it's within like a sixteenth of an inch um but i'm gonna get it i just want to have it perfect because this thing potentially is going to be rocking down the road but anyways all right guys we're back so we got her basically fitted up here now I got it the right length. I still got to trim a little bit and I got a little bit carried away. Um, this is something that does happen while you're doing this. And I wasn't paying attention and I cut on the wrong side of the line. But anyways, I can fill the gap. I'm not too worried about the gap. Um, Welded enough stuff that I can fix that, no problem. So anyways, that's how we're gonna have that. And then I'm gonna, I will be fish plating the inside as well. Um, so this thing's gonna be more than strong enough. So. I actually got more done tonight than I thought I was going to um, doing this. Um, it is a bit of a daunting task by times. I've done it enough times. You just, you do it, you get done. Not a huge deal. Um, but anyways, uh, so we'll, I will get working on it tomorrow night. Hopefully I'll get the frame all welded. Um, I won't be doing the fish plates because I don't have the plates cut yet. Uh, unless I have a piece of material to cut plates out of maybe. Um, but anyways. Uh, like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments if you got any questions, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys.